Oh, I can only hold and I might have my I I might my maximum here. How is this possible? That's right, you haven't uh wait. This conversation I remember it. I've already killed you. What the hell is happening here? Hey guys, welcome back to Loop Hero. And uh, after the last uh, win against the Lich, um, I have looked at a couple videos on the second boss. So I know what to expect from the second boss, what his perk is. Um, but I think, like to be honest, I feel like I need to uh, beat this Lich a couple more times. That's what I'm understanding that I need to beat the Lich to farm up more materials first before I go on to head into the second boss and I think I do need the wheat field in order for to do that uh, wheat field I need the farm I need four wood okay well you know what I'm just gonna go for a farming run yeah like I feel like I should shouldn't do this, but like I think it's necessary to do so. It's not fun to watch maybe, but okay so I'm just prob- maybe I'll just uh, skip through the early stages here or just really quickly go through it. Every single um, expedition, you would probably expect something like this. Very boring stuff. at all. I'm taking a lot of damage from this. I mean I'm taking I mean I am using my potions. Have a blood, blood, blood golem. I forget what it's called. Blood golem. Okay, it's definitely not called the blood golem. See like nine minutes to get to loop four. This fight is gonna be really tough. Mm. 
Hmm. Okay, finally. After every loop, the hero receives a bar of phantom protection that equals 65% of its max HP. Um. Why? Put this here. Damage to all. None of them are really good. <laughs> There's a good weapon. I'm just not getting any vampires. Okay, there's another Chrono Crystal. is better and this this is better Whoa, 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 whoa. Level 8 weapon already. Level 8 rings. I mean, let's go for the straight up regen instead of the vampirism. Another Chrono Crystal? <laughs> Guess I can keep that.
No, that weapon's so much worse. I mean, like, this is... Uh, I'm just basically going through the motions here. Ghost of a ghost. Prime matter? The ghost of a ghost died, and then Prime Matter happened. Oh, there's my attack speed ring. What I need here is uh, like a really good uh, attack speed or evasion or evasion ring or yeah evasion attack speed or evasion ring. Okay, I replace that. Magic damage. I mean, this single ring is gonna like heal me for basically all my HP. Just keep me topped off here. This seems like a good one. But it doesn't seem to be boss equipment. This is not a boss equipment.
Uh, I'm already almost there. Put down any loot, not any card anymore. I mean, uh, I'm one card away from the boss. Have a good enough. Like my gear is so bad. I don't have a good enough gear for it. Oh wait, after this, probably I do. That seems like a really good gear. I don't have a good shield. I'm just gonna let these guard cards go expire. Mm, not really. Second thoughts? Blissful ignorance will... Okay, blissful ignorance will give me a bunch of loot. And also let me play a couple more cards. Get rid of this. This Okay, this is a good shield. Um should keep that ring. Stop avoiding my tax. Okay, I'm gonna go another loop before I summon the boss. Or in other words, I'm gonna cast the campfire first before I summon the boss. This is going to be really tough. More evasion? Uh... 
Oh, I should have put down this thing first. I'm just using these oblivions so that they don't get wasted. Mm, okay, I think I can summon the boss. I thought I oblivion and then I thought I oblivion I thought oblivion doesn't go make the boss the bar go up. Hold on. Better evasion armor. Not really better. Ring. Put that there. Hey, okay, more oblivions. <laughs> One sixty two per day. That is really good. Okay, 
continue, continue, continue. I have three potions. Okay. And I have... Okay, let's not get rid of the... Oh. Wait, where is my... Did I get rid of my evasion? No, no it's over here. Here's an attack speed ring. That attack speed ring, I think it was the same thing that I used in the last uh, expedition, last video. So I think that is good. These attack speed. Evasion armor? No, this, this armor is still better. Back up front. Oh, I need to get put down the village so I can heal. But I, I, I don't really need the healing. Speed shield. That seems really good too. I mean, the attack speed and the evasion is what's driving, what's making this boss really easy. And uh, I mean, everyone's figured it out. So yeah, there's basically no real challenge here. Okay, level 9. Dead. I have a better ring. Okay, let's get rid of this camp. Get rid of this. Wait, <laughs> this Dirk is. <laughs> this Dirk has 2% more evasion and one more damage. Is this. Uh, I'm having second, second thoughts about this armor being better than what I have currently. 2 extra magic damage. 
it's just 1% extra evasion. Okay, so 52% attack speed, 28% evasion. Okay, let's collect one more wood from this thing. Oh, oh I can only hold 10. I might have my I I'm at my maximum here. How is this possible? That's right, you haven't uh wait. This conversation I remember it. I've already killed you. What the hell is happening here? Killed? Me? It's uh I see, so that's how it is. I'm just his after image, not the original. You have no idea what you've done. And how many times will I have to do this world a favor? By slicing you in half? Don't think that you are capable are able to comprehend this. I'm a part of a self-defense mechanism, a multitude of copies sent to different realities as a moment of death. My destruction cannot be fixed, but in an endless series of attempts, dif different outcomes are possible. I've defeated it once and I can do it again. <laughs> Alright, I do have my shield here too. So this shouldn't be... That bad. Yeah, it's just not a, not in question at all. I couldn't change anything, but your victory won't change anything either. Eternity will grind you to dust, and I'm just a small gear in that process now. If killing you makes me stronger, I will need an eternity. Now, be gone. Alright, after I do that, I can also choose one reward, and this will help me uh, advance, be become stronger, basically. Deep pockets. 5% um, chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy. Let's go deep pockets. And then I will simply just do my retreat. Another success. You returned and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I, uh, I'd hardly call it a success. My own memories of the world are gone. This past. The path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there are things you have forgotten. You should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy this place up. It's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to an to an alchemist, but they are they all need a place to work. But we can use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or stone you've just found, and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trip always look stable for building. But these are just stones and splinters. How can you build something with them? Curious, eh? I notice it with the fire you made. The things you obtain somehow infect everything similar with st stability. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Okay, so we can build. Let's build a farm. Have you noticed how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? Hunger, for example. You can stop eating for days and you still won't be hungry. This, of course, does not mean that you should stop eating altogether. The, former, the farmer promises that he'll be able to grow some, some stable crops, but it will take some time. It will be interesting to see what he can grow without sunlight. Okay, so I think, I think I've gathered plenty of resources already. I don't really need supply depot to build stuff but I think I think what I'm gonna do 
Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna build one farm for now. What I'm gonna do is I will try the second, uh, the second chapter here on the next video. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. I think I'm a little bit underpowered for it, but um, I, I think it's fine because right now the first boss is just you more of a grinding boss now. So yeah. Uh, unlock the wheat field. Let's put in the wheat field. Um, let's get rid of the. Let's get rid of the treasury. Actually, this will give me resources, and I do really need resources. The battlefields. The battlefields are the places where I can get my loot all the good gear are in the battlefield anyways i think i will stick with this deck here 12 out of 12 i want less but i don't think it's i don't think it's that like i think every single card here is relevant i mean treasury is optional but i do want resources so treasury is uh, good to have. Anyways, I will stick with this and uh, call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, we've beaten the boss again. It's more like a farming boss now. So in the next video, I will head on to chapter 2. So stay tuned for that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And consider subscribing if you haven't. And I hope to see you next video. Peace.